Bishop Rossini, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, to answer that, one would need to know the unknowable, the mind of God himself. Sometimes the meaning of a tragedy can be difficult to comprehend, but if one has faith, all things have meaning. But why would a loving God allow these tragedies to happen? Does the Lord, as Mr. Frank suggests, want us to suffer? I asked for strength. And God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom. And God gave me problems to solve. I asked for courage. And God gave me dangers to overcome. I asked for love. And God gave me troubled people to help. My prayers were answered. And in your opinion, can we, in fact, hold God accountable for every tragedy, every stubbed toe, every broken heart? Does, does God owe us justice? God is justice. No further questions. Thank you. Your Eminence, can you tell us the mission of the Catholic Church? Well, I suppose broadly defined, it is to do the Lord's work. So, saving souls, alleviating human suffering, that sort of thing. Yes, Mr. Frank, that sort of righteous and merciful thing. Bishop, do you have any idea how much the Catholic Church's holdings are worth? No, I do not. Of course you don't. No one does. Church's assets are so vast, so swathed in secrecy as to be incalculable. Yet reliable estimates value the Vatican's holdings at being greater than the world's top five corporations combined. But of course we'll never know because the Vatican is not required to disclose any of its assets or pay a penny of taxes anywhere in the world. Objection. Your Honor, Mr. Frank is antagonizing the witness. The church is not on trial here. Is there a point to this, Mr. Frank? All I'm saying is, if the Vatican is God's house, then he sure as hell can pay for my house. He done the wrath, he can do the math. Order!